Hi, it's Joy. Today is Thursday, April 14th. I got FSD beta update 10.11.2 two days ago. And prior to that, I have not had an FSD beta update since February when I was on 10.10.2. So as usual, if you've been subscribing to my channel, I will be testing out this latest FSD beta version on that particular tricky street in my neighborhood and see how FSD beta is going to handle that street. I am making the same disclaimer in this video as the ones I've been making in the previous FSD beta drive video on this particular street. So bear with me. And the reason I do this at the beginning of all of these videos is because my last video on the same drive was being misused by anti-FSD person who took out a newspaper ad blasting this technology and blasting Elon Musk. So again, here's a disclaimer. This particular street is a outlier. FSD beta performs 80 to 90% perfectly. During my daily drive, I use FSD beta all the time. And this particular street is challenging because it's on a very narrow two-way neighborhood street with cars parked on either side. And at the intersections, there are many roundabouts that some of them are not indicated on the actual navigation map. So the car has had difficulties maneuvering or navigating around those little roundabouts. So my hope is that by continuing to test on the street and continuing to feed the data and the information back to Tesla, that the, the algorithm will start to mature and learn to tag those roundabouts as roundabouts, even though they're not on the actual map and the car will handle it accordingly. And that Tesla vision will grow up and mature to recognize that those are roundabouts, even though, again, they're not on the map and that um, the AI will handle it just as human would. So without further ado, let's go out on the drive. All right, here we go. We're gonna turn into this area and uh, there's some construction going on. Um, so we'll see how this car is handling it. But I do want to mention that um, when I took this car out on a drive yesterday, I noticed that it does not render or recognize speed bumps in my area for this update. So that was a bit of dis disappointment, but I am happy to report that there are other little improvements in this update that are better than 10.10.2. Um, so hopefully they will add the speed bump recognition back later on. Um, when my car was going through speed bumps yesterday, it did not show up on the screen and the car did not slow down for it either. And uh, on this stretch of the street, the route, there will be speed bumps as well. So we'll see how 10.11.2 will handle those speed bumps once we get on that road. In 500 feet, turn right onto Lucerne Avenue. And 10.10.2, I was not very happy with it because it has some navigation issue. Um, sometimes we would have this lane the center, and when the traffic is building up like this, the car somehow would try to, or FSD somehow would um, try to switch over to that lane 
in the center and like drive past the traffic, which is not the correct way of dealing with it. Um, so hopefully in this version that has been corrected, but that did not happen prior to 10.10.2 .10 either. It was only that particular version that had this issue. Now turn right onto Lucerne Avenue. And by the way, my FSD beta driving profile is on assertive mode and we need this here in LA. Um, here I am nudging it a little bit just because um, the car stopped before the stop lane. And the cars behind me are like, you know, what's wrong with you? Why don't you pull forward and just go? So here comes a speed bump. Uh, it slowed down for like a mile, but there's no rendering. Here comes another one. There's no slowing down. So um, definitely in this version, somehow the speed bump recognition isn't working. So hopefully they will fix it and get it back. And the pathing is still a little unstable um, in this version where you see it kind of wiggles around a little bit. Um, so it's not as confident and then now it just slowed down for really no apparent reason. Um, so we'll see. Again, this area and this route that I'm testing on, whenever there's a new FSD beta version out, is an outlier, okay? This does not represent all other times when I am using FSD beta on all other streets in LA. It is only this area and this particular street that I'm about to turn on with the mini roundabouts. So I am going to reduce the speed to 25 the miles per hour. Enter the roundabout and take the second exit. And let's see how this is going to handle. Okay, so it's proceeding very cautiously, but made this first one um, as normal, which is good. Move and the roundabout this the one, second exit. it had issues with it and um, it's stopping and I'm not sure why. So I was nudging it forward a little bit and I have cars coming behind me and um, Turn left onto it's just kind of weird. Um, it did left. go. That's fine. And then here comes a third one. And oh, okay. This one failed in the last version, 10.10.2. So that one actually was handled perfectly. Um, this one I have to disengage because this last one, unfortunately, still did not work um, that well. So um, yeah, that last one did not go. And I am going to actually cancel the navigation and I am going to just have it drive forward. In 500 um, feet, your destination actually. will be on the left. Navigate to Del Taco. But um, we will come back around and do this same route all the way down with more roundabouts and see how the car behaves. But so far out of those four roundabouts, um, it was only the last one that it had issues with, which is a good progress forward from 10.10.2. And I'm happy about that. In 500 feet, turn left onto Hulk Avenue. So here's another issue. Um, now turn the left car Hulk Avenue. would try to stay dead center in the lane, which is technically correct. Um, turn right. However, back there when the lane markings weren't visible, 
and again, it's not Tesla's fault or FSD's fault, but the local government for not maintaining the lane markings um, up to date or visible that the car didn't see that center divider, dividing that white road into two lanes. So it tried to stay in the center and then later on try to come over to the left and come into this parking lot. So again, that was not FSD beta's fault, but the city need to repaint that lane marking so that FSD beta can perform as designed. All right, let's head back down that street and see how beta is going to handle those roundabout from this direction. So this first one coming up, which is the last one that when we came on, uh, when we came from that direction, that one failed coming here and it failed, if I remember correctly, in the previous drive that I did as well. So we'll see how it goes. And again, I'm uh, setting the speed to 25 miles per hour. And I am paying full attention. I will need to take over whenever that's necessary. So again, this is beta software. It is continuing to enhance and get better. So if you're not comfortable being a beta tester, just wait until we work out all, all the bugs. Um, then you know feel free to use it but this is a whole reason why i am doing this drive over and over and over and over again is to train the system okay so now it's green and i had to tap it just a little bit so now it's coming up to this first roundabout and Oh, that was really close. Yeah, I had to disengage. Um, yeah, that first one, for some odd reason, the second exit. it just still did not work out well. But the second one, okay, pretty good. That went well. And then this one also had issues. And for some reason, it always stops right in front of it, which would annoy people uh, from behind. Oh, wow, look at this. <gasps> this is, oh, great job, great job, great job, Beta. That one always like failed. Wow, it's, it did it very slowly and cautiously, but it did, it did go. Oh my goodness, that was amazing, okay. So then this one, we had pedestrian, then we had another car coming, and perfect. Wow, okay, huge improvement, Beta. Thank you, Tesla. This is wonderful. So now um, we're coming to this last section of the street, and they have more runabouts that are actually not on navigation maps, so I'm reducing the speed like all the way down um just being incredibly cautious <gasps> oh that was kind of close but it kind of went around just a little bit just a little bit okay 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 how about this one how about this one? Oh! oh my goodness it did a very slight curve to go around that obstacle albeit at 20 miles per hour, but I did not have to disengage. Oh my goodness, this is amazing progress. I am so excited for, for how FSD Beta has matured and the algorithm has um, become better. Okay, I don't wanna to turn to Apple, but wow, 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 wow. Okay, there you go, there you go. 
let me find a place to park so um, I can share and uh, <clears throat> let me pull into the spot back here and I'm gonna do auto park so a lot of people also complain that auto park it doesn't show up for them or it doesn't work well um, I don't know I've had success with auto park and I've not had um, issues most of the time working with it and um, I think you just have to pull up just a little bit farther than you think and um, the car will sense the space and then um, it'll park okay how about that FSD beta 10.11.2 huge 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 improvement on that super tricky street granted somehow speed bump recognition um was not in this version probably somebody forgot to put it in but oh my goodness it negotiated those tricky roundabouts um like 80 percent 90 percent correctly wow i'm so happy and so blown away i don't even know what to say um so yeah this is progress and I've had FSD beta for almost six months now and if you go back and look at all the drives I've done on this particular street you'll see the progression so happy to report 10.11.2 mind-blowingly great and I can't wait to get the next release and the next release and the next release until this car handles that street perfectly. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I will see you next time and God bless you.